Welcome back to Mass Appeal. The winter is uh, over. We still got these on. Are you looking at your heart healthier though? Because we have herbal information specialist Jonathan Evans from the Herbarium in Chicopee with heart healthy herbs and supplements. And these herbs can be used with traditional medicine to help us going Absolutely. forward with heart health. Absolutely. That's the beauty part. Uh, these are not going to conflict in any way. And if the herbs actually do their job, you may be able to have your doctor reduce your blood pressure medications and so forth. Uh, one of the simplest things, this is probably the best item there, and that is hawthorn berry. It is nature's perfect cardiotonic. It will do everything. Not only will it lower blood pressure, it will raise blood pressure if you've got too low. Really? It fe yeah. So it knows what it's your blood pressure is It's a modulator. It Seriously, this Wild. is how it works. This is how it works. How do, do you take them? Just eat the berries? No, you would make a tea out of it, or you would have a tincture, or you know, uh, you can have a, a standardized, guaranteed potency sort of capsule if you're not into that. And we're looking at a photo right now. That's hawthorn berries That's in the wild. Hawthorns. That's it. Yeah. Isn't that neat? And the neat part about it is you notice how bright red those are. Yeah. There was something called the Doctrine of Signatures back in the 14th, 15th century that mm -hmm. people tried to get an idea of what the plants were used for, thinking that the Creator gave us a hint. Blood red. Guess what? That's true. And science has finally shown, yes, indeed, that's what it does. That's true. I guess someone was thinking when they made the yeah. hawthorn berry. So the hawthorn will do everything from angina to uh, heart arrhythmias. It actually feeds the heart muscle. It will feed the heart tissue. It helps to build new blood vessels. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'd never heard of this before. You you emailed us and said we're going to be talking about yeah. this today. Yeah. Isn't that it's something? It's the simplest thing in the world. All right. Um, the other thing that does very well, magnesium. I know it's not an herb, but magnesium is terribly, terribly important for so many different functions in the body but it's also a muscle relaxer. It helps with spasms. It is nature's natural channel blocker. So for people who have or are taking channel blockers, talk with your doctor. There's plenty of evidence, there's plenty of information online and everywhere else about magnesium. It relaxes the blood vessels so the heart does not have to pump so hard and it will lower your blood pressure. Now Very the simple. next one, you don't have to ask me twice, it's garlic. Garlic, you got is that. garlic does everything. All Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Uh, but you know, it helps with uh, keeping the blood platelets uh, slippery. It helps lower cholesterol, which is obviously good for heart health. Um, it helps to thin the blood, so it you know prevents clotting, and so many other. Th I mean, the things that garlic doesn't do is only that long. You know, the list of what it does is this. <laughs> it doesn't help you on dates. That's one of the things that it doesn't. Only do well. if she eats it too. <laughs> that I'll tell you a story about that. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time. I have a feeling it's a doozy. This one, CoQ10. A lot of heart patients uh, post heart attack they're prescribed to take something like this. Coenzyme Q10 is good for every cell in the body, but it has a particular affinity for the heart. It helps with heart function, it helps to strengthen the heart so that the heart muscle is actually producing more energy. Dr. Sinatra, who is a world famous cardiologist, has written books on this, he has lectured on it. His, his whole uh, practice down in Connecticut, everybody works with the code Q10 among, and magnesium as a matter of fact, and the hawthorn berry. Now this one. This you is, know cayenne. The, well the best yes. tip he's ever given me, you put this in your boots, you put this <laughs> cayenne pepper in your boots and you're saying to yourself, crazy, this guy's crazy. It works. No, it works. You put, but how does it help your heart? I know how it helps well, my feet. again, notice the color. Yeah. Again, heart health, blood, it helps with uh, circulation, helps to strengthen blood vessels. Um, it, it potentiates all the other herbs that we may be uh, so it's like also. an amplifier kind yep, of in a exactly. Way. Now the other one, motherwort, is a motherwort. big helper. Tell us about motherwort. Motherwort is a nerving. It helps again with uh, the function of the heart and helps to regulate heart function, but it also helps where anxiety and stress may be uh, involved. The combination of hawthorn and motherwort, we always think of basically as hawthorn working on the physical heart, and the motherwort, meaning mother herb, mm -hmm. helps with the emotional heart. Very cool. It's an interesting combination. You put those two together and exactly. you're feeling a whole lot exactly. better. Ginkgo. Ginkgo uh, biloba. Biloba. That's yes. Okay. Now, and what is that? As you can see you? from the pictures, mm -hmm. the biloba, the, see the double, the lobes on oh. the leaf. All right. The leaf is actually wonderful. The fruit is absolutely useless. Really? Does it, it taste good? It smells like. Not Never good. mind. Yeah. It smells like words we can't use on pretty much. Shows. Pretty okay. much. Ginkgo biloba helps with blood circulation. It's one of the few things that crosses the blood-brain barrier. It helps to build new blood vessels. It's an antioxidant. It's an anti-inflammatory. So ginkgo helping with uh, the blood circulation, and it does have a blood thinning effect. So for people who are having to use things like cumin and so forth, um, we do have some of our clients who have been able to work with their doctor using some of the herbs that would have blood thinning, and they've been able to cut back on the medications. So, you know, God bless those doctors that are willing to work with the people doing something. Isn't that like something? That. It really is great. And ideally, you know, if the herbs are doing their job, you don't need the medications mm -hmm. as, as your first resort. Obviously, you got to do what the doctor says, but at some point, there are ways of 
regulating the blood pressure, helping with heart arrhythmias and so forth. And these are some of the simplest things you can do. So people can bring this up to their doctors and say this is some, uh, a route they want to go and work with their... More and more doctors are becoming familiar with this and obviously with the internet you know, and tapping into the NIH, there's, there's studies out there, there's plenty of information available. And speaking of information available, you've given us so much, we're going to put all of that on our website, mymassapeal.com. And today's show, it's all about getting pumped for the summertime, so a lot of the stuff Hopefully, maybe we can grow. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later. We can give Chef John my cayenne. He could use that for the chicken. Perfect. There we go. See, it all works out. More information, mymassappeal.com. Always a pleasure. Good to you.